Hey guys, this is Lad of the Outcast. Welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. In this episode, we're continuing the Castle of Dreams fetch quest. Into the second mouse hole. This one's a bit of a platforming area. Got a potion. Not that I need it, now that I have Cure and Leaf Bracer. So glad I got Leaf Bracer so early. That's going to make most of the game relatively easy. Not that this game wasn't easy enough to begin with, but... Okay. Jump over here. Yeah, you have to use these forks like trampolines. And you're gonna hit the matchbox. Minor enemies up here in there. I'm guessing these are rafters. Alright, the reason we need to hit that matchbox is because it creates a platform that lets us get over here to this cobweb with little hunks of cheese in it. And no, you... Uh, there we go. Let's say, why am I not disengaging lock-on? Ah! I guess it really wouldn't have mattered, so let's fall! Whee! Oh, there's a fork here. That's nice. Ooh, hey, fire pot! It, uh... I think I managed to get one. Unfortunately, I do not have any magnet spells yet, so I can't really collect what these guys have. Still gonna pick that up. I'm having a hard time keeping my camera in view. Hold up. There we go. For some reason, my camera, like, auto-zooms in whenever I turn it on. That's really annoying. Anyway, the reason we had to knock that cheese down was so we can get up on top of these things. A pulsing crystal. And this one leads to the exit. Where we can get our next item. The white button. All right, now there's only one item left to find, and the item is... Okay, it's the menu button. The item we're looking for is way up there, I believe. So we're gonna have a fun time getting to that one. Here's a little speed, and once I'm not within, not when in, when I'm not in danger, I can actually jump. There we go. Yes, I can actually jump. No, I need to uh, switch out my cure command for one that's fresh. I don't need to use it yet, but it's a good thing. All right, are you guys done attacking me? Thank you. I'm going to switch out my Cure Command off screen. There we go. Got a Cure Command swapped out. And actually, of course, that has to reset all of my commands. I really don't like how they do that, but... Yeah. Alright, this next one's a bit tricky. I'm not 100%... I can't remember 100% how you're supposed to get up there. I just know you have to go through here. Potion. Oh, I'm up. How dare you? Wait a minute. I think I remember where I'm supposed to go. 
I just completely went, I just got completely sidetracked for no reason. I don't think I remember where we have to go. We actually have to go back here. And no, this was a genuine screw-up. This was not an, an excuse to come back in here and kill more enemies. That's what I do off-screen level grinding for. How dare you hit me with the soul of your shield? Go back in here. I really would like to know why my camera just periodically blurs. I can figure out why it does that. I could probably fix it. All right, we actually—I think we need to go this way. Yeah, this is where we need to go. I think. Is this where we need to go? This is it. Oh, that was Leaf Placer in action. Completely accidental, of course, but... You all can just sit down while I beat the crap out of you. Sure, this is where I need to go. Oh, this is one of you guys alive. I don't think it has anything to do with this yarn ball, but oh, I can't even take it down anyway. Okay, whoa. Um, is this the right place? I believe so. so yes, it's a hole right here. This is. Ah, yes, here we are. Now to get the last item, we need to walk across this ruler. Eh! And there we go, the pink thread. That's the last of the items. And the game's nice enough to just warp us back. So, yay! got time. Bosses are fairly easy, so this shouldn't take too long. Alright, so now I'm gonna set up my command deck for the next boss coming up. Oh yay! Fire Dash is maxed out, so I no longer need to keep it in my inventory for Leaf Racer to be active. Let's see, I'm gonna want... Strike Raid might be useful. Um, I'll equip Blizzard for this. And I'll carry two Cure commands with me. Just because. Do anything else? Nope. Do not need anything else. Alright, let's go take on the boss. Probably should have saved, but eh, this boss is easy enough. Of course, now that I've said that, I'm gonna die horribly. Just because I said that. <laughs> Get down, Ventus! Out of my way. I don't have time for you. I like to keep my videos around 12 minutes, so can I kill this guy in about about two and a half minutes to kill this guy, I think. Three and a half, maybe. And I'm pretty sure I can kill him in less than four minutes.
play, cat. Bim -bim. Take the pearl, Jack. I'll hold them off. Run! Yes, yes. All right, let's take down Lucifer. For it? Oh, you didn't do it. Okay, he's gonna pounce, I think. There's like a special reaction command thing you can do with this guy, but I mean, he doesn't seem to want to let me do it. Yeah, he's not jumping in the air like he should. He's just hopping down. Oh, there we go. Now he's doing it. <laughs> Got him with the reaction command for a finish, and we get diamond dust from that. Awesome. A little long. Oh, that's a big thank you. No thanks needed. You saved me before, so I saved you. That's what friends do, right? Such a Ben Ben Jaka good friend. Now, let's get that dress finished. Forge are dealing with Cinderella, and we get Stroke at Midnight. I went over this in Aqua Scenario. It's good for Aqua, but for everyone else, it's not very good. So, yeah. There you go. Got the Grand Board Castle, yeah, Castle of Dreams. Anyways, guys, this is uh, this video has ran a little long, so I will see you guys in the next episode after I've done my worldly level grinding. So I will see you guys later.